Hey guys, so I don't know if you remember, but last week we had Love Week, there are no witch creators, and I made a video about how I've been really sucky at doing the things that I liked. Animation and motion graphics was one of those things that I was sucking on. So, in the hopes of turning things around, I've been working on this project. This is what it looks like. All the elements are going to be animated. I thought I would show you a section of a little thing that I'm animating and hopefully that will be useful and interesting to some of you. Let's get started. The thing that we're going to be learning today is how to animate text, how to animate type, in a way that it looks like it's been written on. This is actually very simple to do in After Effects, but it's basically repeating the same process for each of the letters and you're done. So first of all, you want to make sure that all your letters are in different layers or different groups or whatever you want. So you can do that straight from Illustrator if you just keep them in different layers or you can split them up later in After Effects, which is what I did because I'm usually very lazy and I don't think ahead and it would have saved me a lot of time. But anyway, some letters might be easy to split into two depending on how you want to animate them. For instance, if I want to do this A, it is kind of split into two different elements. So you've got that little swooshy thing um, and then the rest of the A. So it might be easier to split that into two different layers. Pretty much, we're just going to be using one effect to do this whole thing. And that effect is stroke. The way you do that is you start by selecting a letter. Let's say we want to start with the, the swooshy thing of the A. So you just select that layer and you go up here to <laughs> effect generate stroke. Right, so you have your stroke selected. Apparently nothing's changed, everything is the same. Let's put that to the side for a little. Let's leave the stroke there. What you want to do now is create the mask that is going to act as that stroke. You want to click this uh, pen tool icon at the top. Very important thing, just make sure that when you select the pen tool that you select the mask icon and not the shape icon. If you do the shape icon, it's not gonna work, make sure you select this one. So now what I'm doing here is just uh, drawing along, just making a line that is the same shape as my type. Pretty simple, done. Now let's go back to the stroke effect. And in this drop down menu where it says none, you want to select mask one, which is the mask that you've just created. And now that mask is going to act as a stroke and do the whole shebang. So down here where it says paint style, uh, you want to click the arrow thingy and reveal original image. So what that stroke was doing was just painting on top of what you had, but you want it to reveal the image as you go, so reveal the type. And now you can see that your stroke is very thin, nothing really is going on, so you want to change the width of the stroke, the brush size, increase that until all of your letter is visible. There you go. So now all you have left to do is animate that stroke. So you scroll to your timeline whenever you want the type to be fully visible and you keyframe the endpoint to 100. And then you scroll back to where you want it to start revealing itself and you set the endpoint to zero. So what you're gonna have now is an animated stroke, just like you wanted. You can easy ease those keyframes and change the movement as you want it to look like. I'm just gonna do like a simple easy ease. And then it's just repeating the same thing for all the other um, letters. The shape of the mask changes depending on the shape of the letter, if it's an E, if it's an I. So just repeat for the rest, keep animating those endpoints and I think that is all. Also, the thing with having every letter in a different layer is that you can later go over and adjust when those letters start animating. You can have the M start in the middle of when the A starts, so they kind of overlap, so it is more like a flowy animation and it looks a little bit better. And it probably would be best to activate the motion blur for the composition and for each layer. So again, it looks much smoother. But yeah, so I hope this tutorial was useful. I think that is all. For today. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. So, adios. <laughs>